I want to thank every subscriber for sending me information. I have been forgetting to say that in videos, so I apologize. But I just got this link from a subscriber who I want to thank. An update on the campfire, the fire in paradise. The numbers are staggering. This is Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel with an update on day two of the campfire. It's Friday the 9th of November about 4.30 p.m. Sunset's not for another 45 minutes away, but it looks like sundown right now because the wind has changed and the smoke is back on top of us. As of today, the campfire has exploded over 70,000 acres. They're reporting 2,000 structures lost, and they're also reporting about 90 to 95 percent of the town of Paradise, California, has been destroyed. Now, those structure numbers are going to increase dramatically once they can get in there and actually figure out what they've actually lost. If 90 percent of a town with a population of 26,000 has been destroyed, 6,700 homes. 6,700 homes lost, gone. What do you say to that? An awful lot of people need help. Destroyed. Those structure numbers are going to jump up to something over 10,000. There's been five fatalities so far, and I believe they're just reporting one additional fatality on the news right now. The fire has burned over 110 square miles. They're reporting 5% containment at this time. So here at the Grass Valley Air Attack Base, it's been a very busy day. Why? Because all the other air attack bases have been smoked out. Of course, Chico Air Attack Base, right downwind from the fire, was smoked out. That was your closest base to the fire for fixed wing air tanker operations. And even uh, air tanker bases all the way down the coast or closer to the Bay Area, Ukiah and Santa Rosa were also smoked out. Remember, these fixed wing air tankers require three miles of visibility, VFR conditions, before they can operate. The entire fleet of fixed wing air tankers is in operation here in California and spread thin throughout the state. The fires in Southern California are all being driven by the same wind event that's driving this fire, the campfire here in Northern California, the extreme winds. We still do not know the source of this fire or the cause of this fire here in Butte County. I thought it was a campfire. Okay. So, 6,700 homes gone. He's saying that it's going to be about over 10,000 structures. Businesses, homes gone. Town completely destroyed. I have shown you videos where the structures are destroyed, flattened, flattened, gone, everything gone. All of this took place in 24 hours. It's jumped now to 90,000 acres in less than 24 hours or 24 hours. Okay, uh, something is very, well, I don't, more and more people are going down, as I've been saying. Oh, you can think Trump is going to make America great again. You can wait for another clue from Q that all these arrests are going to be made. And you can feel really hopeful that things are going to change. But meanwhile, the reality is, every single day, things get worse. A lot worse. I was sent this from my subscriber in Chico. Um, she said that this is a valid nonprofit, a good, um, a good organization to donate to. You notice how Google is already on it? Yes. You put in California fires, donate. Yes, donate. Yes, donate. Yes, donate. Do you think this money is going to the people who've lost their homes? It does not go to the people. This is a way 
for these evil corporations to make a shitload of money off of these events. This is hands-on. Um, people in the area have to help one another and we need to locate those organizations where you can donate and they're not going to be stealing your money. So I am passing this along um, because I trust that subscriber. All links are below.